Hello. This video is called How to Take Coping Strategies to the Next Level. Um, in my last video, I, I explained how you could have uh, coping strategies that you tailor towards different aspects of yourself, such as if your mind is um, you know, ill at ease, then you can uh, tailor and choose certain coping strategies that are going to help your mind feel better. Um, if your body is not feeling good, then you could choose different coping strategies that would be directed towards your physical self and your body to help that part feel better. Um, if your emotions are, uh, you know, not like not feeling clear or uncomfortable, then there are coping strategies that work better towards helping you manage and express emotions. So then you would choose those. Um, so I explained that in my last video about how to um, use coping strategies in an effective way so that it really meets the need of whatever part of you uh, is the most in need of support. Because um, coping strategies are meant to uh, basically teach you how to give support to yourself um, at any given moment so that you are able to make yourself feel comfortable and happy and enjoy, you know, enjoy what it is to exist and be in any given moment. Um, so what I want to talk about now is like what happens when you start to get comfortable with that and that works already and it's, there's this, uh, you know, you're, you're getting better at it. What do you do next? You know, how do you take it to the next level? Um, so my conversation now is if you have a sense that your mind, your body, and your emotions are flowing as one more on a regular basis and feeling more comfortable and then you might find it easy to choose coping strategies when you're like, oh, right now it would feel really good to do this. Right now it would feel really good to do that. Right now it would feel really good to do that. Um, so the next, the next place that you can go to is where you just look at your life in terms of how do I want to spend my time and energy? You know, what do I want to do with my time right now? that would feel the best, that I would feel like I get the most from, or that would be the most satisfying for me. Um, and so then what you, what you do is, or what you've done, is you've taken the coping strategies and you've turned them into hobbies or activities or things that you like to do, um, or uh, ways to explore the world. Um, they also are vehicles. Um, let me put it this way. If you have a hobby or an activity, and it might have started off as a coping strategy, but eventually it becomes a hobby or an activity that you like to do, then that can become a vehicle, a vehicle to explore yourself and the world through that hobby. You know, so like let's say that your hobby is um, glass blowing. Uh, you know, something that that the something that you decided you like to do and uh, makes you feel good when you do it. You can learn about yourself and the world through glass blowing, um, through noticing the, how it feels to be present with the experience, noticing what thoughts or emotions come up as you're participating in the experience, getting to meet other people and talk to other people about their lives or their experiences of, of, of doing the art. Um, and so it's a, it, it's a, becomes, it becomes a, a way to to open up to a larger world. So so if you're starting in the beginning where you're, you know, not feeling good in different ways and then you choose a coping strategy to support yourself and help yourself feel better, you're more in this um, micro, little bit of a vacuum place where the coping strategies are supportive and you, you grab which one you need and you, you know, practice giving yourself that sustenance or that support. As you become stronger and you start to feel more ready to be moving out into the world because you've gotten better at, at choosing the coping strategies and maybe you haven't needed them as much or your behaviors have changed and you haven't had to use coping strategies as much, then it feels good to get out into the world. And using um, a, you know, a activity or a hobby as a way of getting out in the world and also as a coping strategy um, can continue to foster growth on a bigger level. Uh, so, so that's what the point of this video is. It's like, it's possible to continue growing on a bigger level 
just from those coping strategies that you started off with. You know, like let's say that journaling was a good coping strategy for you when you were feeling bad and so you got used to journaling or got used to writing poetry. Eventually, writing could become a hobby and it could become a way of connecting to other people and it could become a way of connecting to the world. So you could always take that coping strategy and expand it out so that it like continues to give back or give you more as you change and as your needs change. So, you know, so it's one thing to know that that our coping strategies evolve as we evolve. Um, and it may have started from some germ of this or a small idea, and then it can become a bigger thing that can, um, you know, grow with you as you grow and you feel more like being out in the world. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for listening.